Okay guys, and welcome to another quick tip in our Digital Classroom series. And Digital Classroom is made possible by Rogue and BenQ. Hey guys, we all know laptops, right? And some of you guys may work with an older laptop. And what is the main limitation of laptops? It's speed and power and memory and, well, so much more. Now, when you work in Photoshop, one of the things that you always learn is work on a duplicate layer. So, for example, if I want to take out these specs under her eyes, I will create a duplicate layer. There we go. And then I will take out the bags under her eyes, check it and work on. Now, especially if you save all your layers, this can add up really fast. Because look at this. Now, under in Photoshop, over here, so left under, you can actually see your document size. And in this case, it's 112 megabytes, 112.5. So that means that on my memory, this takes a hit of 112.5 megabytes. Now, as soon as I do a duplicate layer, you can actually see that this runs up to a staggering 225 megabytes. So that's double. And that's, of course, well, it's expected because you have a double layer. So is there an easier way? Yes, there is. Now, all your clone tools and your adjustment tools and whatever can be used on all layers. Now, what do I mean with this? Now, watch this. Let's go to 100% and let's take out the bags under our eyes. Now, of course, we want to make sure that we can change it and move it around or go back or use layer masks or whatever. So I need a new layer, but I don't want my hard drive to run out of space or my computer to slow down because, well, there's a lot of memory used. So what you can do is actually do this layer new and just go to a new layer and just use an empty layer. There we go. So the document size is still 112.5 megabytes. That's cool. Now go to my healing brush and make sure that you sample it on all layers or current and below. Current layer means that it only samples on the current layer. That doesn't make any sense because it's an empty layer. Current and below is if you have a really enhanced um, image, for example, with six or seven layers, and you only want to do it on the layer below. And all layers, in this case, that's okay, and this one will also work. In all layers means you just sample on all layers. Now what happens? As soon as I start sampling, let's do the old key, and I'm doing this really sloppy because it's not about doing this nice. Okay, there we go. Let's take that one out. So I'm done now. Now look at my document size. It went from 112 megabytes only to 128. How is that possible? Well, very simple. Turn off your background layer. You can actually see that I only cloned this. So the more I clone, of course, the bigger the size will be of that layer because you're using actually extra memory for that cloning. It's still 128, so it doesn't add up really fast. But as soon as you do the more the bigger areas, and again, I do this really sloppy now because it's only about this. It stays around 128. Let's do a little bit here. Same here. And you see it takes a long time before it actually starts adding up to more memory. And this saves you so much time on your retouching because a computer that slows down will get slower. You have more chance of it, uh, of it crashing. So there we go. You can only see what I now just retouched. And of course, the cool thing is now I can actually use my opacity slider to get the effect less or more in. And that was our tip for today. So use that invisible saving space layer. <laughs> hey guys, thank you so very much for watching. Bye bye.